hello. Two stories uh, popped up for me today. Um, one was the story um, of the Bradford East MP, Imran Hussein. And Imran Hussein uh, took on Boris yesterday, uh, Prime Minister's questions, and he talked about his grandfather who came to the UK 70 years ago. He said he lived in squalid conditions, he worked in squalid conditions, and he rebuilt this country. And uh, then he talks about um, the threat that is being posed to people with the BAME background um, by Priti Patel's new British Citizenship uh, Act. So Priti Patel, he says, can revoke British citizenship, which means that when people go through all this process of uh, learning this document about British citizenship. I didn't know we had British citizenship, really. Uh, I, I, I believe I'm a subject of Her Majesty. I don't believe I'm a citizen at all. So I, I, I do find the nomenclature here very peculiar. No one has sat down and explained the difference between a citizen and a subject, as far as I know. So we have this two-tiered system already. Um, but is it possible now that that citizenship test is just provisional. Um, I, I, I find that extraordinary that one goes to so much effort, one has to pay so much money, uh, often for people who don't have very much money. Um, and Imran uh, Hussein talked about the horrific treatment of minorities, uh, the hostile environment, that's the thing that Mrs May set up, that she's never really answered for. Uh, the Windrush, um, scandal, which has still not been sorted out. It, this is shocking. And uh, he says the question that on, uh, is on everyone's lips with a, with, with a BAME background, when is he coming for me? And Boris's response was uh, very odd. He said, uh, look, at, um, uh, look at the Conservative front bench, uh, withdraw that statement, it's shameful, and he knows it. Well, it's not really shameful. Um, and there's a, th there's a difference here. Um, I think perhaps this isn't about race, this is about poverty. And people with very little money, people who invest all they have to complete the citizenship demands, to go through all those ridiculous bureaucratic hurdles, to participate in our life, then face the thought that actually this is only provisional, this is deeply, deeply shocking. This is not something um, that somebody who's married to a millionaire's daughter is going to face. This is not something um, that somebody who's sitting on the Conservative front bench is going to face. But this is something that many people in our country who have sacrificed so much to be here are, are, are facing already. They're facing this hostile environment. Um, and now this new law is going to define a difference between illegal and legal migrants. Um, probably about how they got to the country in the first place. This turns our responsibility um, that, that we signed up for in the 1951 UN Refugee Convention. It turns it on its head. It doesn't matter how somebody got here, we have to treat them with respect and we have to process their appeal for refuge um, in an honourable way. This is not honourable. This is foul. Um, and, but but we're, we're not alone. Because the EU has now passed its own legislation making it possible to deport those refugees who have been um, sort of push, pushed against the uh, Belarusian-Polish border. Um, it seems we've got, to, we've got to separate the issues. We're not separating the issues at the moment. Anyway, that's point one. Uh, the, the, the other story which I thought was interesting today was to learn how much Richard Maidley uh, is paid for his um, brief sojourn in reality TV. So he gets £200,000 for 
the little he did for I'm a Celebrity. I mean, I, I have no interest in this programme, but it's a lot of money. So I wonder, is that his going rate? Is that what he was paid for being on The Circle? Because that's vastly um, more than most people were paid. Um, you know, this is a very... Uh, this is a very strange area. Um, and what is somebody worth? What are, what are they worth when they're on the television? I don't know. Um, who, is, who, who, is set, who is setting these limits? I don't know. Maybe you've got some ideas about this. Maybe you've got some ideas about um, uh, what you think of, the, um, of Imran Hussein's uh, comments, uh, what you think of Boris's response. I don't feel that Boris's response was good enough. I expected a better response. Um, it's not just enough to say withdraw that comment. Um, Imran Hussein made valid points, particularly about Windrush and the hostile environment. Um, so are we now having a new hostile environment by the back door? By uh, it, it, Is this what Pretty Patel is manufacturing? Um, and uh, I, I find this very frightening. Anyway, please do follow the channel, do ring the bell. I look forward to hearing from you. Have fun. Bye-bye.